Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. Today I'm excited to talk to you about the new Billitron Pro Series carburetor from Lectron. If you're familiar with Lectron carburetors, you know the deal. What's the unique feature about these carburetors and the big so what it makes them so popular is that they are self-adjusting. If you've ever have or have a two-stroke motorcycle and you have a hard time getting the jetting dialed in just right depending on where you're living, where you ride, or maybe you don't like it, the fact that if you're going to be doing big changes in elevation, different temperatures, humidity, things like that, you don't want to have to mess with the jetting. That's what makes these unique is that it is a self-adjusting carburetor. And the way that they do that, the big so what, is with their metering rod technology. And I'm gonna dive more into this and talk about how this all works here in just a moment. But if you are shopping for a new carburetor and if you're looking at an Electron, don't take my word for it, go read rider reviews. But again, if you like the idea of getting your carburetor set up basically one time and not really having to do anything, if you know, from that point forward, then Electron is definitely what you wanna look at. Now, that being said, with the new Billitron Pro, when you compare it to the Billitron carburetor, which has been around for a couple of years now, the two big main differences between the two is that with the Billitron Pro, it has a new tailored bore design, and these are going to be from bikes from 125s all the way up to your 300s, but it's a tailored bore design to get even more airflow going through this carburetor, and they say that they actually shorten the distance of about 30% of the air travel so they're trying to just get more performance out of this thing but also is the addition of the torque jet so i know i just said that there's no jets on this carburetor but it still does give you some adjustability with the torque jet which is new and then the power jet which we've seen on all the previous electron carburetors and i'll explain what those do and why they added that torque jet but the reason that this new carburetor really came to market is because with the old Billitron, which is still going to be around, that's still an option for you to go buy. That carburetor is very, very linear. So it has a nice, smooth power delivery from the bottom all the way through the rev range. However, Electron will even admit this, and a lot of riders talk about this, that they just couldn't get their carburetor to give the same performance as some of the OEM carburetors right off the bottom. Some people just said, you know what, my OEM carburetor just gives me a little bit more snap, a little bit more response down low, which is what I want. And so that's something that Electron has been chasing, and that's why they have the Billitron Pro. So what they've done said, like I said, with that new tailored bore design, they're getting more airflow going through, but with the, the Billitron that doesn't have this torque jet, you couldn't make any adjustments to the initial throttle when you just crack the throttle open. So the torque jet is gonna give you adjustability from throttle close to about halfway. And then from there, you have the power jet, which like I said, is on the Billitron, which is gonna give you from half throttle to wide open. So now what you can do is when you slap this carburetor on, is you can adjust the torque jet and the power jet to get the, the engine character that you are looking for. So if you want a snappier you know, bottom end where it's gonna build power super quick, you can do that with that torque jet especially with that optimized and that additional airflow that's coming through the carburetor. And then you can go through and do the same thing with the power jet. So it's just giving you more adjustability and they're trying to match and give you more performance than what some of the OEM carburetors could do you know, in that situation. So that's really the big update with that torque jet. Now, there is also an idle screw on these. So you can adjust the idle and then the metering rod, which I'm gonna talk about here in just a moment, you can adjust that as well. But once you get the idle screw dialed in, you don't have to touch that anymore. You're just gonna worry about the torque and the power jet. But now, let's talk about this metering rod and how this all works. So, if you look at it, here's your slide, right? And here's what they call their metering rod. You notice that it's round on one side. That's the side that's facing away from the engine. And then the side that's facing the engine is flat. It's a chamfered side. And the way this works is pretty cool. And the best way that I could describe it is if you've ever been to a river and you look at a rock that's sitting there, you notice how the water goes around the rock and it creates the eddy on the other side. And if you're in, a, say, a kayak or swimming, you can literally just sit there and tread water and not go down river. Well, that's basically the way this works. And so as the air is coming through the carburetor, it hits the backside or the round surface, it goes around, creates that eddy, and pull the fuel up into the carb or out of the float bowl. And what's cool in the way that this is self-adjusting is because based off of the temperature, the humidity, the elevation, all those things that you normally have to factor in when you're trying to adjust jetting, 
Well, with this, it just basically does that for you because you know everything's dictated by how much air is coming around this metering rod and then pulling fuel up through it. So it's pretty cool the way it works. So like I said, very simple to do. Now you can adjust this metering rod. However, what they told me is that you adjust your idle screw first. And if you have to go more than one full turn in either direction, then you want to make an adjustment to the metering rod. And they actually have a video you can watch. They show you how to adjust the metering rod. It's very simple to do. But the other nice thing about these is that all your jets here, so your torque jet and your power jet, you can see all the screws and the idle screw, it's all on the outside. There's nothing internally that you have to take out of this if you want to make adjustments. You literally just take a flathead screwdriver and you can make adjustments to this while it's on the bike. So it's very easy to do that. You can even access the metering rod, so you do have to pull that out, but you can do that without taking the carburetor off the motorcycle. So it's very easy to work on this once you have it installed on the bike. Now the dimensions of the carburetor are on the website on the product page. So if you're not quite sure about fitment, look at the dimensions. It will give you that there. Then you can take measurements on your bike. But they are bike specific because between say the 125s and then you get up to the 300s, again, they've tailored these and the, the internal adjustments are a little bit different depending on your bike's engine size. So make sure into the year, make and model on the product page to ensure that you get the right carburetor. But you notice too that they do have one also for bikes with TPS. So they've got you covered there. But ultimately, like I said, the big so what with Lectron carburetors in general is the metering rod technology, self-adjusting. No more do you have to say, oh, I'm going to drop down to sea level even though I live at 4,000 feet. Now I got to reject my bike when I get down there. This is going to do all that for you. You can just make minor tweaks as needed. And of course, now with the Biltron Pro, you've got that torque jet giving you a snappier, better throttle response down low, and then you have the power jet from mid to wide open. Now, last thing I will mention, because this might be a question that gets brought up, is fuel economy, because the Billitron series, they say that that carburetor could give up to about a 30% increase in fuel economy. With the Billitron Pro, they say it's not really going to do much in that regard. So just remember that. If you have questions or comments, though, about this carburetor or any of the others, you can ask your questions or leave your comments down below. We'll help get those answered. To grab one for your bike, it is very simple. Click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtVMC.com. All orders over 75 bucks ship free. And if you want to stay up to date on products like this, you can subscribe to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and you will be good to go. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.